Hi there strikers. There's something uniquely disturbing about people vanishing into thin air. Read about these incredibly strange, unsolved cases although these disappearances span centuries, locations, age ranges, and circumstances, there's one common thread shared between them, a lack of closure. There are theories, speculations, and investigations, but never a decisive answer. On our incoming, episode I'm going to feature some of the cases of mysterious disappearances of some missing that just disappear without any trace. The mystery of Devil's Triangle You've probably heard legends about planes and ships mysteriously disappearing in the Bermuda Triangle, or Devil's Triangle, the area of ocean between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. But those legends don't come close to the very real, very serious disappearances that have plagued Alaska for decades. There's a region of wilderness known by names like Alaska's Bermuda Triangle, the Bermuda Triangle of Alaska, and the Alaskan Triangle, and no matter what name you give it, it's far more deadly than its tropical cousin. The border of the Alaskan Triangle stretches from Utkigavik, formerly known as Barrow, on the state's north coast to Anchorage and to Juneau across the southern coast and includes vast areas of largely unexplored wilderness, sprawling forests, icy mountain peaks, and desolate tundras are clearly not the safest places in the world but of the hundreds of search and rescue missions conducted every year, state troopers rarely find any trace of bodies, dead or alive the Alaskan Triangle first received widespread attention when US House Majority Leader Hale Boggs airplane vanished somewhere between Anchorage and Juneau, in 1972. The disappearance triggered one of the country's largest ever search and rescue operations, involving 40 military aircraft, 50 civilian planes, and 39 days of searching an area of 32,000 square miles. Yet the search yielded not a shred of results, no wreckage, no debris, no human remains. Nothing. The silver lining, after this incident, Congress passed a law mandating the installation of emergency locator transmitters in all U.S. civilian aircraft, that wasn't the only aircraft to be lost, either, back in 1950, a military craft with 44 passengers had disappeared without a trace and a Cessna 340 carrying a pilot and four passengers vanished in 1990, never to be heard from again. Disappearances without a trace are strangely typical of cases in the region, and the cases aren't rare, since 1988, more than 16,000 people have vanished in the Alaskan Triangle. This contributes to the annual filing of roughly four missing person reports for every 1,000 people in Alaska, more than twice the national average it's easy to write off the disappearances as people getting lost and quickly succumbing to the elements, but the numbers seem too staggering for such an easy answer. 1. Potential reason for the disappearing planes the terrain utterly obliterates them. In 1947, for example, the British South American Airways, BSA, Lancastrian three airliners Stardust disappeared en route from Buenos Aires, Argentina to Santiago, Chile, and its fate was unknown for more than 50 years. Two Argentinian climbers found the plane's wreckage while ascending Mount Dupangato in 1998, and, investigators concluded that Stardust had likely crashed into a nearly vertical glacier, 
which caused an avalanche that buried it within minutes still, it seems unlikely that similar avalanches would have occurred in every plane that's gone missing over the Alaskan Triangle. And what about the lost hikers, tourists, and Alaskan residents who weren't flying in planes? This is where theories get a little less, uh, grounded in science, to say the least. In the book In Search of the Gushtaka, Alaska's Other Bigfoot, The Land Ottoman of the Tlingit Indians, author Dennis Waller explores the history of mythical shape-shifting creatures found in stories of the Tlingit and Tsimshian Indians indigenous to southeastern Alaska. The Kushtaka roughly translates to Land Ottoman and is there. Bigfoot of the Alaskan Triangle. Legend has it that the creature appears to travelers in an irresistible form, such as a relative or vulnerable child, to lure victims to a nearby river, where it tears them to shreds or turns them into another Kushtaka. A more grounded explanation is that the deceptively beautiful glaciers of Alaska have swallowed many of the missing people and planes. Although, they may appear to be solid ice, the glaciers are actually honeycombed with hidden chambers, and those crevasses can be larger than houses, or even office buildings. Coupled with the falling snow of the northern climate, it's not unreasonable to think that in the Alaskan Triangle, vanishing into thin air really just means buried by nature. Just remember to stay safe if you do venture into their Alaskan wilderness, and contact Alaska's Missing Persons Clearing House if you find, or need help finding, a wayward travel of the disappearance of bogs. The House Majority Leader Majority Leader from Louisiana, and Bigish, a freshman congressman from Alaska was one of the first cases to spark widespread interest in the Alaska Triangle. The representatives, as well as an aide, were flying on a small plane between Anchorage and Juneau on October 16, 1972 when the plane disappeared. A massive search and rescue effort was launched but was called off after 39 days. Neither the plane nor the men's bodies were ever found. The disappearance was the subject of a 17-episode investigative podcast. During the past century more than 50 ships and 20 aircraft sailed into oblivion in the area known as their, Devil's Triangle, Bermuda Triangle, Huda Sea, or a host of other names. Exactly what happens to the ships and aircraft is not known. Most disappeared without a trace. Few distress calls and little, if any. Debris signaled their disappearance. Size of the triangle is dictated by whoever happens to be writing about it, and consequently what ships and the number lost depends largely on which article you read. Vincent Gaddis, credited with putting the triangle on the map in a 1964 Argosy feature, described the triangle as extending from Florida to Bermuda, southwest to Puerto Rico and back to Florida through the Bahamas. Another author puts the apexes of the triangle somewhere in Virginia, on the western coast of Bermuda and around Cuba, Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Sizes of the areas described ranged from 500,000 to 1.5 million square miles. Whatever the size or shape, there supposedly is some inexplicable force within it that causes ships and planes to vanish. Mysteries associated with the sea are plentiful in the history of mankind. 
The Triangle area happens to be one of the most heavily traveled regions in the world and the greater the number of ships or planes, the greater the odds that something will happen to some. Each holiday season the National Safety Council warns motorists by predicting how many will die on the nation's highways. They are usually quite accurate, but, no monsters kill people on highways, only mistakes. Seafarers and aircraft pilots also make mistakes. Eventually scientists will separate fact from the fiction concerning the devil's triangle. Until then, we can only grin and bear the ministrations of madness. <laughs>